In this video, we're going to be doing parabolas, a revision guide. Now, in actual fact, people know quite a lot about parabolas, but don't realise it in that uh, they know things like y equals x squared add 4x add 3 or whatever. That is a parabola. But in actual fact, there are basically four different types of parabolas um, shown here on this uh, chart, courtesy of desmos.com. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the basics of parabola and then at the end we're going to go through four questions, typical questions that would appear on college entrance tests uh, or whatever. So let's get going. Okay, now this one here in actual fact uh, is x squared equals 4ay. This one is y squared equals 4ax. This one here is x squared equals minus 4ay, and this one here is y squared equals minus 4ax, and they've all got something in common uh, which we're going to discuss uh, presently. Now, this one here and this one here, just as a matter of interest, are both functions. This one here and this one here are not functions because remember the definition of a function is that every element of the input must map to exactly one element of the output and this fails the vertical line test here because it maps to two so it's not a function and you do occasionally get asked that okay so uh, we'll move we'll come back to this in a minute but uh, let's just go here again saucer desmots.com thank you very much to them um, so this is a parabola and what we're going to do here this line here is called the directrix um, this point here is minus a zero. This distance here is a. This distance here, which in this case is four. This distance here is also a, which gives you the point here, a zero, which is called the focus of the parabola. Um, and we just, um, uh, what else? Oh yeah, and there's one more here, the vertex of the parabola, which is extremely important, the vertex of the parabola, in this particular case, is zero, zero. And we'll come back to this one again in a minute. And this uh, is the y squared equals 4ax. Now, basically, the definition of a parabola is if we draw a straight, let's, let's imagine we have a point anywhere here, x, y, on the parabola, and we draw a point from the focus, draw a line from the focus, to the point and then to the directrix. This here, let's call it P, is always equal to this here, let's call it P, and we can prove, therefore, if those two distances are the same, then the equation is y squared equals uh, 4ax. We can prove that quite easily because what we could do here, well, let's have a look at this distance here. Well, that is x minus minus a, so x minus minus a, equals, well, this distance here, this p, by Pythagoras, if we draw down here, Pythagoras, we get that it equals the square root of x minus a squared add y squared, and if we tidy all of that lot up, we get y squared equals 4ax, and that's where the y squared equals 4ax comes from. Okay, now what we have to do uh, as well is we need to add two other points if we go from the focus here up and we draw a chord from the focus, and I'm probably not going to do this very well, but let's try it anyway. There, we draw a chord from the focus there. Oh, that was good. From the focus, it hits um, the parabola here at the point A 2A and also here at the point A minus 2A. And this line here is called the latus rectum which for some inexplicable reason causes quite a lot of titillation during maths lessons when it is first uh, described. So this basically is all you need to know um, about the basic parabola where the vertex is zero. And we're gonna do some questions on these uh, in a minute. So um, let's just go on to the, uh, the third graph here. Now this is the one that we've just looked at. This uh, y squared equals uh, 4ax. Um, and in actual fact, this one is y squared equals 16x, but it, it's of the form y squared equals 4ax. Now, in order to get any other parabola, all we need to do is translate. So basically, if we translate this um, red parabola in this direction by, um, what would it be, 5, 10, 50, by 15, and we translate it in this direction by 20, then the vertex of the new parabola here is at the point um, minus 15, 
20. So the equation of this particular blue parabola would be y minus 20 squared. All we're doing is, is translating it equals 16 times x plus 15 instead of this. All we've done is we've translated the y and we've translated the x. So you can get any parabola anywhere just by translating in the y and x direction. And the general formula for a parabola is, and I'll actually go back to the original uh, diagram here to put the general formula in. Okay, so the general formula for this one, which will be translated, you can see all the vertices here are at zero, but if we translate it, this one here would be y minus k squared equals 4a x minus h, where h, k are the new coordinates of the parabola vertex. This one here, the blue one, would change to x minus k, uh, sorry, x minus h squared equals minus 4a y minus k. This one here would change to y minus k squared equals minus 4a x minus h. And this red one here at the top would change to x minus h squared equals 4a y minus k. So you can see that we can describe every single parabola, uh, whether it's vertical or horizontal, um, by using the, um, the, the basic parabola formulae and then the translations in the direction x and y. And by the way, this parabola here is called opening rightwards. This one here is opening leftwards. This one here is opening upwards. And this one here is opening downwards. And you will see those four um, to explain the difference, for example, between that one, which is opening upwards, and that one, which is opening downwards. Okay, so let's get on with some questions. That's the best way to uh, proceed now. And what happens uh, in the question? So here's question number one. If you want to pause the video and have a go, uh, then pause it now. Okay, great. Now, what always happens, uh, not on this question here, but on normally, is they will give you certain parts uh, of, the, um, of the, the parabola. For example, they might give you the directrix and the vertex, or they might give you the vertex and, uh, and the axis symmetry or something like that, and you have to work the rest out. Now, this one here, all we need to do is we need to get it into a form, um, uh, one of the parabola forms. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square. So that's x minus 7 squared minus 49 minus 4y add 29 equals 0, i.e. x minus 7 squared equals 4y add 20, which equals 4 brackets y add 5. And we now have it in our form. Um, and so basically we can read off the coordinates of the vertex. Remember, this has just been translated by 7 in the x-axis and by minus 5 in the y-axis. So the coordinates of the vertex is 7 minus 5, and just as a matter of interest, the graph would look something like, and this is going to be an appalling drawing of a parabola, but the uh, it would be here, so there would be the vertex, 7 minus 5, uh, and we know that it is upwards facing because it's a plus here and a plus here, so it would look something along the lines of that. That would, oh, that's not bad. Uh, except the vertex would be would be there. Okay, that's quite impressive. Good. So that's question number one anyway. Ask for the vertex, uh, and that's what it is. Okay, let's go to question number two. Um, question number two, uh, if you want to do it, let's pause the video now. Okay, so um, what they're giving us here, they're giving us the vertex, they're giving us the focus, and they are asking us to find the equation of the parabola, and for a bonus, they're also asking us the equation of its directrix, axis of symmetry, and uh, latest rectum. Okay, so basically, uh, let's have a look. So basically, we know um, if we draw uh, x, y plane here, and we know that the parabola, the vertex is minus 1, minus 2, which is going to be around here. That's minus 1, minus 2. Uh, and we know that its focus is at minus 1, minus 5, which is down here, minus 1, minus 5. So we know it is going to be a downward-facing one. We can draw it now like that. It's going to be downward-facing like that. Okay, now we also know that A, is, which is the distance between the vertex and the focus between minus 2 and minus 5, so A equals 3. So that helps. That's a distance from the vertex uh, to whatever. And so now what we can do is we can actually write, knowing that uh, our equation is of the form 
x squared equals minus 4ay because it is downward sloping like that. Uh, and we know that the, ver the vertex has been translated to minus 1, 2. So therefore, we can write it as x plus 1 squared equals minus, well, 4 times a. We know a is 3 because that's the distance between the vertex and the focus. So that's minus 12. And y has been uh, translated by 2. So that's y plus 2. And that is the equation of the parabola. Now, for the bonus, the directrix, let's have a look at the directrix. Well, we know that A is 3 between the vertex and the uh, focus. So, therefore, we know the directrix is another 3 up there. And it's across this way here. That's the directrix here. So, if that point there is minus 2, minus 2 add 3 will be plus 1. So, therefore, the directrix is y equals 1. That's the equation of the directrix. The equation of the axis of symmetry, well, the axis of symmetry is clearly at the vertex like that. So that's the axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry. And that is at x equals minus 1. Uh, and the latest rectum, OK, well, the latest rectum moves, goes through the focus and it goes across this way like that. And so clearly the latest rectum is y equals minus 1. 5, and just as a matter of interest, that point there, because we've already discussed that this distance here is 2a, which is 6, so that point there is um, minus 7, minus 5, and this point here is 5, minus 5 on the latest rectum. Okay, so that's question number 2, including the bonuses. Let's have a look at question number 3. There's four questions here, uh, so there's question number 3. If you want to do it, please uh, pause the video now. OK, so what's the equation of the parabola with vertex at 1, 4? And directrix is x equals minus 2. OK, and the bonus, we're asking for the coordinates of the focus and the length of the latus rectum. OK, so let's have a look. Uh, let's... Uh, draw a little bit of a graph here uh, and we've got the vertex here is at the point uh, 1 4 and we know that the directrix is at x equals minus 2 here so there's x equals minus 2 that's the directrix so we know that this distance here is 3 which is a and so therefore we know that the focus is another 3 across here which will be the point 4 4 and therefore we know that our uh, parabola looks like this. Okay, good. Well, that, that is the vertex. Um, okay, good. So there's our parabola. So we need the um, equation of the par parabola. Okay, well, we, uh, we know that it's of the form. Uh, it's of the form y squared equals 4ax because it is right facing um, and we know what the the uh, the vertex is and so we know that it's been translated across so that would be y minus 4 squared equals 4 now we know that a is 3 because that's the distance between the directrix and the uh, vertex so that would be 4 times 3 times x minus 1 because remember the uh, the vertex is at 1 4 i.e y minus 4 squared equals 12 x minus 1 and that is the equation of this parabola. Uh, for the bonus, well, we've already done, actually, the coordinates of the focus is 4, 4, because it is 3 more across that way than the vertex. And the length of the latus rectum, well, it basically goes through the focus here. And remember, that bit is 2a, and that bit is 2a. So in total, the length of the latus rectum is 4a. Um, and so that means that the length is 12. The length of the latest rectum is 12. OK. And finally, we have question four. Question four, what's the... Well, if you want to do this, uh, please uh, pause now. OK, so we basically got what is the equation of the left opening parabola? So they're telling us it's left opening with latest rectum endpoints at 4 minus 3 and 4, 5. OK, so let's draw that. We've got 4, 5. And we've got here... 4 minus 3, uh, and we know that it's left opening, so uh, I don't know if this is going to work, let's give it a go. Uh, we know that it's going to look something like that. Okay, so 4 or 5 is here, and 4, 3 is here, so we know that the uh, 
uh, latest rectum uh, points are there. Now, if we draw that line there, we know that the focus is halfway between those. So the focus is at 4, um, 1. So that's where the, the focus is. Um, and therefore, we also know that the vertex, remember, this distance here is 2a, um, and that's, that distance is 4. So therefore, the vertex, a, is 2 in that direction, which would be at 6, 1. It would be 4, 1, and 2, which is 6, 1. Okay, so basically, and we know it is of the form, um, it's of the form y squared equals minus 4ax because it opens this way and we know what the vertex is so that's y minus 6 squared equals minus and we know a is uh what was a a is 2 so we know that that's minus 8x minus 6 oh sorry it's y minus 1 isn't it my apologies y minus 1 because it's at uh, the point 1 6 1 so my, y minus 1 squared is minus 8 x minus 6. That is the equation of the parabola with these endpoints of latest rectum. The equation of the directrix, okay, well, we, we actually are going to have to go off the, um, off the chart because if that's 4, 1 and that distance a is 2, well, the directrix is 2 further over there. So the directrix is going to be here, which is going to be the point, uh, sorry, the line x equals 8 is the directrix. That's one of the bonus marks. The axis of symmetry is clearly going to be across here. That's the axis of symmetry, which is going to be y equals 1. And the latest rectum, well, basically, we've already looked at that. It's this line here, uh, and that is the line x equals 4. OK, so um, we've gone through all that you need to know on, uh, on, on the basics of parabolas here. Um, there's all sorts of different types of questions that they can ask, but they will give you various of all of these different things, and you have to work out what the other ones are. Um, as long as you know all your, uh, your stuff, um, then hopefully they shouldn't be too bad. Um, if you found this video useful, please um, press the little thumbs up button uh, and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.